Well, hello and welcome to the House of Valentina fashion channel. I'm so excited that you have stopped in for today. Today, we're going to be talking about fashion heroes, those wardrobe pieces that you just need to have in your wardrobe. We're going to be focusing a little bit more on fall and winter right now, but these are mostly seasonless, seasonless items that you really need to have in your wardrobe. And I call them wardrobe heroes. I've heard people refer to them as staples, basics. Oh, these pieces are anything but basic. They really are the heroes that really help you make your wardrobe and everything else that you have in your closet really, really work for you. Over the years, I realized that a lot of times what I would do is I just run to the store, pick out whatever just struck my fancy that day. And I wasn't really building a wardrobe. So I'd walk into my wardrobe and be like, ugh, I don't have anything to wear. <laughs> so what I've learned over time is that having these classic heroes in my wardrobe really helps make getting dressed really easy and a lot of fun. And I think what you'll find is that you're going to love these pieces because you can mix and match them over and over and they will really help you to create fabulous outfits and you'll be able to do it over and over. And I just love that. So I've got a few things that I'll get to share with you today and it should be a lot of fun. So make sure you hit subscribe and give the video a big thumbs up because I think that you're going to love the video and I hope that you will want to stick around. So let's jump in. So the first thing you'll want to do is to make sure you have a really good steamer. So no matter what you put into your closet, you will always want a steamer because the steamer really does make everything you have in your wardrobe just look amazing. And I think a lot of times we just look at a t-shirt as just sort of this basic, we kind of almost half crumple it, you know, and just sort of fold it and throw it in a drawer. I hang my t-shirts. I think that they're something that are really beautiful. It's a, an incredible basic piece. I'm wearing a black one today underneath my blazer. I've got the white one here as well. Uh, I get white t-shirts from a few different places and I'll list a couple down below, but I think that a basic white t-shirt is a really important piece to have in your wardrobe. I think actually a white and a black is really good. If you can go ahead and get both colors. I think looking for the right kind of t-shirt is also really important. I think having something with a wider shoulder, something that just kind of hangs a little bit longer over your shoulder, looks more like a blouse this way. You don't want it to be skin tight. You want it to be a little bit looser fit. Even if that means going up, which usually I do go up a size in t-shirts unless they come oversized because I want them just to sort of hang to be like this one, where it really fits more like a blouse. And I think that having that little crew neck on it is really classic. And a piece like this can be mixed with a leather trouser like I have on today. It can be mixed with jeans. It can be mixed with shorts. You can put a blazer over it. You can put a sweater over it. You see where I'm going with this. This is a hero item. Next up, I've got this beautiful piece, which actually our video sponsor for today is Farfetch. And they have very kindly sent me several pieces and I'll go through each of them. But Farfetch is one of my favorite sources to shop for hero pieces. Farfetch is really amazing. If you haven't shopped there before, I really recommend that you check it out. I I didn't know about it until a couple years ago. And once I came upon it, I was like, whoa, this is amazing. So Farfetch is a website that you can go to and they source from over 3000 shops and boutiques around the world. So you might be able to get something that isn't, you might be able to get something from Europe that isn't even available in the US yet. Uh, you can maybe get something that is also sold out a lot of times in a lot of other places and you'll be able to, I'll be able to find it on Farfetch. So uh, one of the things is like my little bracelet that I wear all the time it's sold out in most places, but Farfetch has had it in stock like for months and it's amazing. And because they're sourcing from all over the world. And so I think that's just really, really cool. You can find all kinds of unique pieces. You can also find staple pieces. They've got companies, everyone varying from Valentino to uh, Ralph Lauren. They love to be able to stock you up on your luxury items, but they do have a range of brands. And so I'm able to shop things that are a little bit more affordable and then those more high-end luxury items. But either way, I love to go there to shop for these 
pieces that I really want to invest a little bit more money into because I know they're going to be my hero pieces in my wardrobe and they're going to help me build amazing um, outfits. So go to farfetch.com and you can use my code bustle 40 for $40 off of a purchase of $500 or more. There's some exclusions. I'll include all those details down in the show notes, but I'll also link down below and have the discount code written for you there as well. You guys are going to absolutely love Farfetch. You, many of you may already be existing customers. It's for existing and new customers. So thank you so much Farfetch for sponsoring the video and for giving us that amazing discount code. So one of those pieces that I've chosen from them is this stunning striped t-shirt. I think this is one of those things that you can always have in your wardrobe. A lot of times people will say, oh, but I have a bigger bust. I worry about the, the stripes. I think the biggest problem is that you really need to make sure that you go up a size if you have a bigger bust and don't let it be tight across the chest. Honestly, I think that's the same for anybody in, in any size. You wouldn't want the chest to, to pull. And that's the only time I think that stripes can be a little bit unflattering when they're horizontal, but I think that's any shirt either. But I really think that horizontal stripes put underneath a blazer is a super cute look. It's a basic, it looks great in the summertime with a pair of white trousers or a little pair of white shorts. It looks amazing when temperatures start to cool off with a little sweater thrown over it. You can wear a little stripe shirt like this in so many different ways. Again, jeans, uh, leather pants. I mean, the, the options are limitless. And so I really think that a little piece like this is a wardrobe hero because it's gonna work for you. It's gonna make you look good. It's gonna make you feel good and you're gonna love it. Another thing that Farfetch sent me, they sent me these beautiful trousers. These are from a company that I have actually, I have never actually heard of. And this is another thing why I like Farfetch. These are from the Frankie shop and these are absolutely stunning. The quality of these is breathtaking. This is one of those pieces that you have forever. They've got beautiful, beautiful pockets, gorgeous pleating on the front. They just nip you right into the waist and make your waist just look nice and thin. A lot of people ask, oh, if I have weight in my, in my bottom or in my hips, do pleats look good? I'm like, uh, yeah, they actually make you look thinner. So um, there, it's just magical. It just makes you have shape if you don't have it, but then kind of hides your shape if you do, and you're not wanting to accentuate that shape. Uh, but they've got that beautiful clasp on them. They're just absolutely stunning. The quality is just incredible. I love this sort of like coffee kind of color. It's just stunning. A pair of pleated trousers is one of those things that really just goes for so many different circumstances. You could wear these to run to have a coffee with your girlfriend, wear a sneaker, run to a store, you know, run out and shop. You could also, you know, dress them up, wear them to work a night out on the town, put on a, a little bit dressier top with them. They're just amazing. And that's why I think these deserve a place in the wardrobe closet hero category because they are incredible. The other thing that Farfetch sent me is this beautiful black bag. I love this bag because it is a wardrobe hero. It's just really classic. It's got the gold hardware on here, but I just think it's very simple. It's one of those bags that can go with pretty much anything. And I love the fact that it sits really nicely on the shoulder, fits over a coat or a blazer. It's adjustable. It's one of those pieces that you just really need in your wardrobe. It's one of those basic building blocks that will really help every outfit you wear look incredible. That's why I think that this was such a great buy. I've been wearing it nonstop. I took it out to Seattle with me. I love the fact that it also has a really durable leather on it. That's also really important. You really wanna have pieces in your wardrobe that are going to last you a long time because once you find that piece, in order to be in that category of a hero, it needs to last, it needs to be amazing, it needs to go with everything. It's just got to work and work and work and bring you a whole lot of joy. And I think that this bag is by far so easily one of those things that just continually works in a wardrobe. The other things that I think you need to have in your wardrobe and are a little bit trickier to find, I will admit. One of the things that I have struggled with, and I think it's something that we all kind of struggle with, you have to kind of order a lot of different jeans to figure out which ones are gonna be the right ones for you. But when I thought about what pair of jeans is the one piece that's really classic, that stands the test of time, does that even exist in jeans? Because I feel like jeans 
We all have jeans in our wardrobe, but they cut the styles really change a lot. They come and go. So when I thought about it, what was the thing that I felt was the most long lasting? And I think that a mid rise, uh, just middle medium wash jean in a straight cut is probably the most classic thing that you can buy. And so honestly, I was, I was standing in line somewhere the other day and there were a lot of women in line. Oh, we were at Disney. And I was looking at all the different people that were around us. And I was thinking, trying to find one jean to fit all the different bodies that are, are just sitting right here around me. That's a big challenge. So I think what you need to do is actually order several pieces for any of these items. What you're looking for is the item that fits you the best. So I'm gonna give you the link for mine. I have more of an hourglass shape. I always leave my details down below in case you're shopping and you wanna you know, look specifically at what I've bought. But these from Madewell are pretty timeless. I would say the only thing that makes them a little bit more trendy is the buttons on the outside, but I've owned these for a few years and they're still in style. And a lot of times the only reason that I retire a pair of jeans is because they end up with holes in them and or paint on them. <laughs> but I think that this style is just really classic. It's gonna go with everything I've got sitting here with the t-shirt and the blouses. It's gonna go with the striped tee. It's gonna go with the turtleneck. It's gonna go with blazers. It's gonna go with trench coats. It's gonna go with a high heel, it's gonna go with a flag, it's gonna go with a sneaker. I think it's a, it's just a wardrobe hero, don't you think? I think it's fair to say that these are something that you're just going to use over and over and make a million outfits from. In my wardrobe, these babies are a wardrobe hero. I mean, 100%, I love my faux leather pants. I have owned a pair of these for over 10 years. Now, I wear them out. <laughs> some point I do actually just completely wear them out because I tend to just wear them nonstop. I find them to be incredibly comfortable. I really like the softness and the pliability of that faux leather. I like like on these, these are from The Gap, the inside of them is really, really soft. I think that they go with everything. There is not a circumstance <laughs> in my life in which these do not work. They go perfectly with my blazers, they go perfectly with a pair of sneakers, they go perfectly with heels, with flats, they can be dressed up, they can be dressed down. Uh, to me, a pair of black leather trousers slash jeans, you just, you just have to have these. And when you have these, outfits are just easy. They're just so easy. There's not really very many tops that you could put on with this that just isn't gonna work. I mean, isn't that what you kinda need? In order to be a hero, right? It's gotta kinda go with everything. It, it really has to be one of those pieces that you could pretty much grab and put with almost anything and it's gonna work over and over and it's gotta stand the test of time, right? Trendless, that's what we're looking for. That's these. I really love them. These are the Vintage Slim High Rise. I've got them in the Petite. Uh, I went up to the 26, even though I'm normally a 25. Um, I'm sure that's not because, um, you know, you know, getting an early start on Christmas cookies has anything to do with that. <laughs> no, but I really think they just fit really nicely. Again, I'm not gonna worry about the fact that I'm gonna go up a size because uh, they're very stretchy and actually I could have been, I would have been fine in the 25, but I, I like having a little bit more room in them and they're really stretchy and bendy and they're really comfortable. Uh, I think the straight cut of them also really helps. I think that having that straight cut just makes them super easy to wear with everything and why they look so good dressed up or dressed down. The skinny ones, those are a little bit harder to style up. The straight jeans like this, they're just a winner. I've got a pair very similar here in the white leather. And so once you start adding, as you've noticed, <laughs> as you've noticed, a lot of these items are black. The reason why is because these pieces go with everything I've got. So once you start getting the black pair, you might wanna then add a white pair or a brown pair or a beige pair. Uh, if you really love color, maybe try a navy next. You're really trying to find those things that are just gonna carry their weight in your wardrobe. And I think that these are just amazing. Next up we have blouses and I think that blouses are like these, silk blouses to me are the ultimate wardrobe hero. I really just love them because 
you just can wear them with everything. They look so cute paired with blue jeans. They look amazing paired with a trouser. They look amazing paired with those leather pants. They look great with skirts. They look great with shorts. You can dress them up for work. You can take them out when you're just going shopping for groceries. You can wear them, you know, to everyday occasions, wear them to parties. I find them to be so comfortable. It's, I would say they're maybe actually even more comfortable than the t-shirts because they're so soft and they're so breathable. And I'm, I just think that they're absolutely incredible. And so I have quite a collection of silk blouses. I would say if you're just getting started, getting something in a neutral tone, like this one that's got the creamier color and one, I would go with the collar like this if you're really just kind of getting started because this will last forever. I have some in my wardrobe that I've had for like at least 10 years. Then you could also switch over to the one with the little bow on the top. I just really love the little pussy bow because I think it's really sweet. It's a little bit like a tie and I think that's a little bit of a power statement as well. And I just really love it. I think it's really beautiful. These are by Lily Silk and I just love wearing them. I find them to be really comfortable. I find that I can reach for them and they're gonna go with everything. And that's what we're really looking for if we're gonna classify it as a wardrobe hero. So I think these totally pass, don't you? Next up, we have one of my ultimate favorites and I have to drag myself out of these. I honestly, a lot of times even wear these in the summertime because if my husband has the air conditioning turned really low, I'll just grab one of my little turtleneck sweaters and throw it on even over a t-shirt. I, I literally live in these. Now I don't expect everybody to wear a turtleneck in the summer. I mean, that's kind of crazy, but you know, if you have a spouse that runs the AC, let me know in the comments if you know what I'm talking about. Uh, but usually I would say that from fall through all of winter, I have to force myself to stop wearing my turtleneck sweaters because they are so comfortable. They're so cozy. They're so easy to throw on. I love this paired with a black jean. I love these paired with jeans. I love them paired with the leather trouser. They can be paired with those dressy pleated trousers. Again, there's so many different ways that you can wear these. You can put them with a little pair of shorts as well with a little pair of tights or a pair of boots. Uh, it's just one of those pieces that goes with everything. Now, I think having a black one is, of course, amazing. I like when they have a little bit of ribbing, and to me, what I'm looking for as well is that I wanna make sure that sleeve has a nice classic cut on it. The throat can't be too tight. These are important things. And you just want something that's a little bit roomier so that you can tuck it in and just kind of wear it more like a blouse. I just, or untuck it if you prefer to untuck your shirt. Uh, but I just think having something super cozy like this is just amazing. And it's just one of those things that you're gonna reach for over and over. This is one of the Amazon Essentials. I own it in three colors and it's incredible. Lastly, I think that everybody needs a trench coat in their wardrobe. I love that has just a basic black one. I think that black even over the cream, although I do think that the, the traditional kind of beige khaki trench coat is actually an amazing piece that could go in this as well. I just love a black on black outfit. It's just one of my like guilty pleasures or like the black with the little uh, stripe underneath it. I just think that this is so cute. I just love black, it's my favorite color. So um, I know, I'm like, isn't that the absence of all colors? Yes, it is, but that's okay. <laughs> it's my favorite. And I just think that this is one of those pieces that it's just gonna make every outfit look amazing. It just makes everything look really, really good. Uh, you could put it with a little pair of shorts and a little t-shirt when you're in transitional weather. It looks, again, like the jeans, the black leather pants, the pleated trousers. This goes with everything. It really just makes everything look like you put a lot of effort into it. And I think that's what every single one of these pieces for me has to do. I want it to look like we talked about last week, like effortlessly chic, as if I didn't have to work at this. And when you choose the right pieces for your wardrobe, you're gonna get that because these pieces just have that factor to them. It doesn't have to be the most expensive thing in your wardrobe. It just has to be the thing that really makes the pieces that you have in your wardrobe just look spectacular and amazing. And it just looks so effortless. And it can actually be effortless when you have these kinds of pieces that are just grab and goes. 
So the only other thing that I would say that you've got to have is a really amazing black heel. And I feel like I talk about this a lot we just started the channel again it's just a little baby channel but uh you know i know a lot of you have come over from our home channel and it's just so much fun to get to chat about the closet in depth over here but this is how we do the same thing with our with our home we're trying to look for those pieces that are effortlessly chic that are a really good use of our money. They last a really long time, they are high quality, and they're trendless. That's the kind of piece that I really want to spend my money on because what it does is it helps me build out my wardrobe and it leaves more money for fun things like you know jewelry and accessories and a, a candle for the house. I mean, why spend money on a piece that you're not, it, that isn't gonna be a wardrobe hero? We all have those pieces that are a little bit more trendy, something that we might buy for a special occasion, but that's not how you can build that beautiful wardrobe. You've gotta have these heroes. So the final thing I would say is to have a little black heel. Uh, you guys know I, I bring the same ones back out because these are it. This is what I reach for all the time. I love these from Sam Edelman. They're super comfortable. They have a little bit of a kitten heel. If you can't do a kitten heel, do a flat. Either way, you've gotta have a little pair of black shoes in your wardrobe. I like to have a little bit of a heel because it gives a little bit of height and it really just elevates your outfit just a little bit and you. Uh, but I understand that not everybody is comfortable in these. Being comfortable is the most important part here. So if you're more comfortable in a ballet flat, go for a pointed toe. Try to get at least a little bit of a heel. Don't go with one that's like, has no heel at all. Those are really bad for your knees. I think just a little bit of lift will really go a long way. Uh, but you could also, this time of year, it could be a black boot, it could be uh, a black sandal over the summer. But to me, a black heel with a lower comfortable heel like these, wardrobe heroes. I literally wear these all year round. I think they're amazing. They look incredible with dresses. They look incredible with, uh, I wear them with shorts, I wear them with trousers and jeans, and uh, there's like nothing I, that I can't wear these with. And that's what I think just really makes it a wardrobe hero. So those are just a few of my classic pieces because for me, I'm trying to build out a classic wardrobe. I'm really wanting to create something that I reach for, it's something that I'm excited about, that I really love year after year, and that's how I wanna spend my money. Uh, and rather than just buying things that are fun and whoop, Yay, and, and out it goes in the next bid to Goodwill. Like, that's that's not what I want. It's not it's not good for the environment. Uh, it does help, I guess, somebody out if you just, you know, donate clothes all the time. <laughs> but it just feels a little bit frivolous, I think, to spend your money that way. And so I think it's better to have these pieces that really just make getting dressed easy. It makes it fun, and it makes it feel like it's just, yeah, like it's, you wake up and you're just excited to get dressed. And I think that those are all the little things that really matter when it comes to your wardrobe. So uh, don't forget to check out my Farfetch discount code. I'm gonna leave everything linked below, including that Farfetch discount code. $40 off of $500 is a really great discount code. So I don't want you to miss out on that. But also I will leave the links for these items and a couple alternates because even I was talking to my sister and she'll order a pair of pants that fits me perfectly and they don't fit her. And I'm like, let's just, I'm always like, try these instead. <laughs> so I'll try to leave you a couple options for each of these that I think are worth checking out because I think that this will really bring a lot of joy back into getting dressed for you. And so I hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope you will hit subscribe, hang out with us a little while longer, and I hope you will love this channel so much that you'll want to binge watch the other videos that we have put here, but we also have a vast library on our home channel that is 100% binge worthy. We've been over there for about seven years. So lots over there as well if you watched everything here. But either way, we appreciate you stopping in and look forward to seeing you in the next one. I'll see you then, bye.